so let's start with informatica power center tutorial sessions this is part one uh, we will first go through the, the informatica uh, architecture so we have uh, as you see the diagrammatic representation uh, we have first client tools then power center repository and then we have power center server so in client tools we have uh, different tools through which we can create and manage uh, transformations mappings sources targets etc so if we look in the first the, it's the first tool is power center designer the name denotes that this is used to design uh, the mappings sources and targets uh, then we have a repository manager this is a tool through which we can create folders export import different xml objects uh, which have uh, targets or mappings defined into it sources as well then we have a workflow manager uh, in workflow manager we basically create uh, sessions we create uh, workflow through which we can define that uh, which session should be performed in which order and we can create the workflows itself we can manage the workflows with different we create the connections to which our sources and targets are connected and uh, we can trigger the workflow itself from the workflow manager as well and there is one other option that we can also trigger the workflows to power command form power center command form so then we have a workflow monitor uh, workflow monitor as the name denotes that here we can see the progress of our workflow which ha we have executed it will show us the uh, succeeded or failed status and we can also individually see the session logs and workflow logs as well then we have metadata reporter um, so here we basically report the uh, we control the metadata things okay then we have a power center repository right so these all of the, these client tools basically communicate to the power center repository so power center repository service is basically a service in which there is a database behind the service whatever the action we perform uh, for this power center server a server uh, is saved into this uh, dep uh, repository database for example if you want you can also take the backup of the database or uh, we you can also take the dump delete the database and then restore and you will find all the workflows rep uh, mappings transformation which you already created so this is basically uh, heart of the informatic power center all the perf or, or the middle or intermediate layer between uh, the client tools and to the main server now if you see this are uh, this is the power center server the third layer the last layer uh, it's basically connected to the power center repository and then repository talk to the client tools and the sources and targets are directly connected to the power center server right so we have uh, number of sources and number of targets uh, many different available solutions we have through which we can get the data from either rdms flat files xml odbc and same can be our targets so here this was the brief introduction of informatic architecture so let's just start with the power center designer so this is a designer tool uh, there is a this is a shortcut uh, so we will connect to one of the repository here and discovery repository so let's enter username and password So here you can see that now I repository is being accessed. Okay, uh, so I have already created uh, two folders. Uh, so we will use this is the empty folder, right? So we use this uh, tutorial folder. Uh, let's just drill it down. You can see the different options: the sources, targets, cube dimension, transformation, map, plots, mappings, user defined function. So initially we will be using just three of these folders: sources, targets, and mappings. Okay, so I have also created one database for us so that we can uh, just create a fresh uh, table with some of the data and let's just look into some of the initial transformation. So this is the Amabas underscore tutorial is the database. Let's just uh, create a um, table. 
with some of the data so we will take uh, so we are creating the table commitment here let's just open the different sessions also at the same time so that we can use so okay so we have the database table created now we are also creating one more table with the one of the uh, table name change so let's make it commitment underscore target okay so now we will be having two tables uh, both of uh, both of the tables should be empty okay so empty result for both of these tables let's have some data for commitment so here is the data for commitment okay, we will be inserting into one of the table okay so one of the table now has the data right so the table which has the data we, it will be our source and the other would be our destination the empty destination so now this has three rows and we have empty okay fine so let's start with creating this okay so here is the for example if you want to see your sources targets so here is the tools we come into source and library so we need to create the source then we will be creating so here one more tab has appeared within a source now we have different options right uh, so we can directly create our source as well we can import from database file there are many options and this is the option through which we create uh, as of now we will just use the import from database so So we have our ODBC defined with SG28. Uh, this is the name of ODBC, uh, and just you need to give the username, owner name, and password, and it will come in. So here we can see our two of the R tables. So as commitment will be our source because it this is a table which has data. So we will be importing this table into our source and library. So here we can just uh, we can go through the source. Okay. So here the are the all the column names, data types. We don't have any other thing here. 
so let's move on to the target so same process we will apply for the target also import from database uh, we will use 28 mbass is the username and mbass underscore tutorial is the schema name the owner name here we give the password okay so here we will select the commitment underscore target so same oracle target is being defined here now you can see that uh, this hierarchy is being getting increased so let's just save it so that uh, it will be saving the commitment source and commitment target into the repository fine so now uh, just we can go to the mapping design we so here is the tab uh, uh, basically in source we got the source tab in target we got the target tab in mapping we got the mapping tab right and one more tab which appears is transformation tab so let's just create the mapping we will name is it as m underscore commitment underscore target okay so all the options for transformation are now enabled so what we will do is just drag and drop the source as soon as you will drop the source here one more source qualified transformation will be attached automatically let's see so here we see uh, this is our source as commitment just uh, and this is the source sq source qualifier so now the question must have arrived that what is this sq underscore commitment this is a source qualifier right so for any mapping this is the default source qualifier which is attached to any source so if you now you want to do the uh, one to one transformation directly so you can just drag and drop the target directly and it will be created so let's just do that we will we are just uh, doing one to one mapping uh, we are not doing any expression change or any transformation we are just uh, extracting the data and loading it so that uh, we can start up with a very basic uh, mapping and then we can create a very basic workflow to complete our initial first task so here we can see i have dropped up the target now what I'm doing is I'm selecting all the columns which are in SQ commitment. So columns in uh, in the definition of uh, transformation is set as ports, right? You have an input port, you have an output port. I will show you this also. So here you can see that I've already linked all this. So if you want to see that a contract date is coming from which column, so what you can do is you can right click it, select link path backward. So it will show you where this data is coming from actually so let's just look at sq underscore commitment ports properties okay sources and okay let's see the properties sql query right we are just going into it so if we say generate sql then it will be generating as sql uh, select as commitment dot and all the columns so we can also make some query conditions here as well if you want to use any case nvl or any other function so we can also use here so as of now we don't need this so here is uh, one of our basic mapping being created so i think uh, this is the first session and uh, in the next session we'll be looking into the workflow creation for the same mapping which we have created thank you